Okay, how do you block other people's energy and emotions from affecting you? As a deeply sensitive person, this is something that comes up a lot. How do I stop myself from feeling their shit? <laughs> to put it simply, that is what we're asking. And what I've learned on my own journey is that to do that, to stop, to put a wall up between you and another person and say, stop, I don't want to feel what you have. It's a fight response. It physically takes energy out of us. It drains us to do that. Our natural ability as a deeply sensitive person, as an empath, whatever word you want to use, is that we are open. We are open to other people. We are open to other people's energy, their emotions, their feelings, their thoughts. Now, there will be some around who will say to do like visualizations to block people out. But it's once again, it's that fight. For me, I don't want to fight. As a deeply sensitive person, I come from a place of love. Everything for me is love. It always comes back to that. And to put this blockage up between me and someone else does not feel lovely. It does not feel true to who I am. So rather than blocking out other people's energies, I had to learn about transmutation which is a big fancy word for saying I had to learn how to move their emotions, their feelings, their thoughts out of my body. I had to learn how to release it. Now, think of everything that someone is saying to you, every thought, feeling, emotion, everything they have comes in at our heart. We know this. It's why our hearts are so easily broken. But now consider a line across our hearts, across our bodies. So if something they have done, said, thought, whatever, comes straight into our heart, what we are trying to block is it from dropping down into our body, from us storing that within ourselves. What we need to do is learn to bring it up and out. And in doing this, we need to learn to express the first step from our heart up and out is through our throat chakra, which is expression. So essentially, instead of blocking their emotion, it's accepting the fact that you are a being of love. You want to have that two way energy between you, but you have the ability to express yourself and bring their energy up and out. Now, this can be very, very easy and simple. Say you're having a conversation with somebody and they say something a little bit targeted at you and you take it deeply. It feels like they have just stabbed you in the heart. You have a choice. Do you say nothing? Swallow it, which is what we do, and let it fall within you where it will sit there. It will eat away at you. It will manifest as physical ailments in your body. Or do you bring it up and say, ouch. What you just said really hurt. And then start a dialogue. Once again, that energy flowing between you. This is the trick. Rather than blocking other people's emotions, rather than putting in that fight response into your body, it's knowing and having the courage to express. Now, I know this takes a lot of work for us. We have spent a lifetime of being told to be quiet, don't express yourself, sit down, shut up, all of those sorts of things. So to come to that place of expression and to allow it to come up and out so easily, it takes time, it takes work. It's one of the reasons that I created the Empath Academy. I wanted deeply sensitive people like us to have a safe space to practice so that they could express themselves without feeling like they're going to be attacked straight away back. Because all of us deeply sensitive people, we want to do that. We want to express ourselves. We want that safe space to do it. So I've created that in the Empath Academy. It's our practice zone where we can practice saying, hey, I need to say this, letting it come up, and then knowing that however whoever is in the group is going to receive it from that place of love. Now, 
This also caters for those times where you can't express yourself. Maybe you're in a situation where you know it is not safe to say, hey, you are hurting me right now with what you're saying, where it's not a safe space to say no or stop or get away. This is where the Empath Academy is also vitally important for us. Because when we make that choice to swallow it, it sits within our body. We have to then make the conscious decision later to bring it up and out. But we need to do that in a safe space. And that is why this group exists. It's one of the biggest tools I think all deeply sensitive people are missing in the world is that safe space to just express what they're thinking and feeling because the depths of our thinking and feeling are huge and it makes a lot of people uncomfortable. We can be quite intense. (laughs) I know that about myself and I'm fine with it. (laughs) So if you are struggling when it comes to accepting that fight, that blocking of other people's energies, if you like the idea of transmutation, but you can't quite get your head around it, please reach out to me. Love to chat to you more about this. It's something I could talk about all day long. Um, And we'll also do a three card intuitive tarot reading for you and figure out the next steps you need to take right now in order to bring yourself to live a life full of courage and confidence and fully on purpose. Love and kindness, my friends. Ah.